Hi, I'm Paul Psolga, Ivy Masters Learning Center at IvyMasters.com, and today we're going to look at the eighth question from Digital SAT Test 3, Module 1, Number 8 reads, according to the text, how did the researchers determine the level of surprise displayed by the cats in the study? Always read the question first because you want to anticipate how we're going to approach the question. This is just a really random reading comprehension question. So how are we going to approach it? Generally, you could summarize and then just predict your answer. We are going to be on the lookout for how we're going to know the cats are surprised because that's what the question's asking about. Let's go to the paragraph. Cats can judge unseen people's positions in space by the sound of their voices and thus react with surprise when the same person calls them from two different locations in a short span of time. Saho Taguki and colleagues reached this conclusion by measuring cats' level of surprise based on their ear and head movements while the cats heard recordings of the owner's voices from two speakers spaced far apart. Cats exhibited low level of surprise when the owner's voices were placed twice from the same speaker, but they showed a high level of surprise when the voice was played once each from two different speakers. So you might find this. You read it, and as you're reading the pat, you read the question. As you're reading the passage, you're like, "Oh, I just saw the answer to this question." In if in that case, great. Then you can go right to the answer choices. So the summary is like, um, if we're to go back through it, cats judge based on people's voices. So if they're called twice from different places in a really short time period they'll be surprised and then they can measure the surprise by their ear and the tilt of their head or something like that. And, but they're not surprised when same voice comes twice from the same place and a uh, high level of surprise when it's two different speakers far apart within a short period of time. So what did I just do? I basically just put the whole paragraph in my own words. There's a good summary and love the surprise displayed in a cat's study as I underlined before. We could see it here, ear and head movements. And answer is A, they watch how the cat moved its ears and head. Looks like that's gonna be our answer. Let's go through the wrong answer, see why they're wrong. They examined how each cat reacted to the voice of a stranger. So it's not talking about a stranger per se, it just says the same person. And also it's not like hey, they're surprised because it's a stranger. This has nothing to do with uh, someone calling them from two different places and uh, how to determine a level of surprise displayed by the cat in the study. It would really be how could they tell their surprise, which is again, the ear and the head movements. And choice C, they studied how each cat physically interacted with its owner. Um, it sounds like there's no physical interaction here with the owner. It's just a voice being played from some so from two different speakers. The owner might not be present at all. Answer choice D. They tracked how each cat moved around the room. Well, if it's just their head and their ear movements, they don't have to be walking at all. They don't have to be moving around the room. Answer choice A is definitely your best answer. You mark it, you move on. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these random just reading comprehension questions. Is there any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT? Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss anything. And check out our one minute video. If you go to YouTube, Ivy Masters Learning Center, the shorter videos are just below these longer videos. And have a great day.